Rep City family! Every day we are living in a battle for our minds and we must cover ourselves with the armor of God to defeat the enemy's schemes and win the fight. Today I want to encourage you with the armor of God found in Ephesians 6 verses 10 through 16. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with the feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Paul clearly tells us that we need to be clothed with the full armor of God. I want you to imagine yourself wearing armor to go out into battle and you have everything but the helmet on. Don't you think the opposing side would target you at your head? Or if you didn't have your breastplate on, don't you think the opponent would target you there? This reminds me of what the enemy does. He targets your weak spot, the spot where you aren't covered and attacks you there. We need the full armor to protect us from the schemes of the enemy coming at us at all sides. God is our mighty protector and he will cover us with the armor of God if we turn to him. Let's live like the battle has already won, because it has.